My name is Jochen Christine. I'm the CEO and co-founder of SearchGuard. And today I'm going to show you how to configure a simple alert that checks your Elasticsearch data for anomalies. So let's log in with our signals alerting user. And in order to have some sample data to work with, I've already imported the sample flight data that ships with Kibana. So let's head over to our alerting application. So if you open the menu, you can find the search card signals menu item here. Well, let's navigate to it. As you can see, I've already installed a couple of demo alerts. But first of all, let's have a look at the account section. Accounts are channels where you can ship notifications to. SearchGuard at the moment supports email, Slack, Jira and PagerDuty channels with Microsoft Teams already in the making. And for this demo, I'm going to use a Slack channel, which is already configured, which I'm going to use in my watch definition later on. Now let's go to the watches tab and let's add a new watch. The first thing that I'm going to do is give it a name, of course. And since we're working with a sample flight data, let's, for example, check for the average price for a ticket. So let's name it average price. Next, I need to define the schedule of my watch. This means how often the watch checks my data for anomalies. We have several modes here. We can do it by interval. We can also do it hourly, daily or weekly. So I can set intervals like every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 a.m. And as you can see, we also support different time zones. So for this demo, I'm going to switch to interval and I want to check my condition every 10 seconds. So for this demo, I'm going to use the graph mode. The graph mode is a very easy way to create alerts. So the first thing I need to do is select the index where my data resides. And in my case, it's the Kibana sample flights data. Next, I need to select the time field. And as you can see already, I can see the data in my index. By default, this is a count over all documents for the last one hour. But in my case, I want to get an average ticket price. So I'm going to switch the when condition to average. I need to select a field, which would be the ticket price. I want to scan all my documents for the last, let's say, 30 minutes. And I want to get an alert if the average ticket price is, let's say, below 800. So this is my condition which defines when an alert is triggered. Next step is to define an action. In my case, I want to get notified via Slack. So I'm adding the Slack notification here. Next, I'm going to select the account. And for that, I'm using the already defined webinar channel. And let's get a little bit playful here and also set an emoji. And we're going to use the airplane emoji. The body defines the message that's being posted to Slack when my condition is met. Uh, by default, this is the total hits of my Elasticsearch query, which is not what I want. I want to see the average value of the query. So I can simply click on the runtime data tab here. And this is what the result of my Elasticsearch query looks like. And I want to have the aggregations metric act value in my notification. So I'm simply changing the body here. And I'm choosing metric aggregation value. That's it. And I can also add a little bit of formatting. Let's make that bold, for example. That's all. Now I can create my watch and save it. And as you can see, already we got an Slack notification. So this is how you create a simple watch by using the graph mode. In the next series of our signals video tutorial, we'll have a look at the blocks mode, 
which is even more powerful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.